Ask Reddit by Unfair Yesterday 3173. What's something that made you believe that a friend was rich when staying at their house when you were younger? I remember sitting in my friend's basement playing NES with him and his older brother walking through the room, saw the game we were playing and said something like I am going to beat this level in like 10 minutes, and then left. And X200B. I assumed, being a younger brother myself, this meant his brother was kicking us off of the Nintendo so he could play. But my friend reassured me that he has his own in his room. And X200B. Having both a TV and gaming console, which is the second one in your house, in your bedroom as a kid was mind blowing to me. Are you totally just unlocked a core memory from kindergarten of the same thing happening? Mine was a working ice maker in their fridge. Mine was an ice dispenser out the front of the fridge. Fancy as fuck. Their older brother had a water bed. Yes. My aunt had one. The house was clean. They had carpeting. They had nice furniture. They had bookshelves with books. That hits hard with house being clean. The built-in ski ball lanes and one bowling lane in their house. And the horse. And the golf lawn. They also had six washer and six dryers in their house. And the home movie theater. Tell me more about the ski ball. Was it the new ones from the 2000s onward or earlier? One of my friends told me her kids thought we were really rich because we have a double toaster. A friend growing up had a waterbed and her own teen phone line. I still remember her number lol. And X200B. They were definitely wealthy. And X200B. Edited to add things I remembered, she got her room redone every two years. They had a full finished basement with a really nice bar, that came in handy in high school, and it had a really sweet jukebox. Also had big screen TVs before anyone else. They also had an in-ground pool, along with a hot tub that was in a gazebo type room. She got a brand new Pontiac Sunfire for her 16th birthday, wrecked it, and then got a Cougar Coupe I believe. For a brief minute I thought you were talking about my high school girlfriend, right up until the in-ground pool part, but she had a cottage 40 minutes away on the lake. Stairs. I've still never lived in a house with stairs. This makes me think of the kid that lived next door growing up. They lived in a ranch style house and their parents clearly made more money than mine. My house was smaller in square footage but was a B level, so two sets of small staircases. That kid always called us rich because we had stairs and I haven't thought of that in years. Cable TV. We used to call the part of the SF Valley where I grew up as the cable ghetto as it was the shitty part of town and we got cable like 3-4 years after everyone else got it. They had their own end suite bathroom. Also, an ex I dated in HS had spiral staircases in his home. They had a room in their house filled wall to wall with DVDs. This was mid 2000s. Every week, they'd buy whatever new movies released to add to their collection. Turns out, they were actually broke as shit and were racking up huge credit card debt doing this. Their money management skills have not improved over the last 20 years. I knew someone wealthy who actually did this. Their mom liked to buy them and organize them all by section and type on a spreadsheet. It was thousands of DVDs and VHS tapes. I forgot about that until now. They had the little Dixie cup dispenser in their bathroom. Thought that was so rich. We had that but we're never allowed to use them that was for guests the same cups were in that dispenser for like 20 years. They had the GI Joe aircraft carrier, https colon slash slash the toy collectors guide dot com slash two zero two two slash zero five slash two seven slash u dash s dash s dash flag dash aircraft dash carrier dash has bro dash one nine eight five slash close bracket one of my best friends had this along with about a thousand other gi joes 
They weren't rich, but they weren't poor either. They had an Aston Martin parked in their very long driveway. Well, they were rich. I grew up in the 60s and early 70s, so any household that had a color television was presumed to be affluent if not rich. My own parents did not own a color TV until the early 80s. My grandmother had a black and white TV till the mid 90s. My cousin decided to be the man and got her a color TV. She said she didn't want it, but he wouldn't listen. She has spent the last 30 years watching her black and white movies on it. Still doesn't see the point. It was common for my family and some others to be mild hoarders when I grew up. I remember being amazed going to a friend's house and seeing how neat and clean it looked, almost like the houses on TV. They were planning a vacation to another country. They had a live in maid. She would make him snacks whenever he asked, she would make his bed, do his laundry. We were like 8 years old at the time, living in SoCal. Maid or nanny? They had an incredible entertainment basement. Giant TV, laser disc player, Atari Jagger, neon lights, leather sofas, big aquariums. Two computers with a ton of equipment. I thought they were loaded. I found out, years later, that their dad was just a selfish dick who spent all their disposable income on toys for himself. One after the other, when they turned 18 he told them they needed to get jobs and move out immediately and there was no money for college or anything else. This is the opposite, but I thought a friend was poor because her barrettes didn't match. If someone had any of the following. A U driveway, double doors for the front entry, a pantry, spiral staircase, ice maker in fridge, intercom system, a doorbell. LOL I relate so hard to the doorbell. They own slaves don't ask me where I grew up. Oh wow. Their mom ordered 5 different extra large pizzas for us. Because she didn't know what we liked. There was just 5 of us in total. 4 of us were amazed. The kid that lived there thought this was normal. Heated bathroom floors. Friend grew up very working class and not rich by any means, but I thought they were friggin Rockefellers cause they sometimes had Veneta ice cream cake. Same. The Veneta was luxury, 